Hey, this is Arlene. So anyways, um, I just wanted to make this quick video because I just realized something. Like yesterday, I took my car to get fixed at the dealership. And um, what happened was that when I went to get my car uh, at the dealership, when I went to go get it fixed, um, what I thought was very interesting was the fact that... Um, They have, in the corner of the lot, they have, um, whatchamacallit, um, oh, um, cars there, lift cars that you can use to drive with. And I thought that was very interesting that they would have lift cars there. So... What happened was when I was in the waiting room to get, uh, waiting for my car to get fixed, they actually, um, people would come in, park their car, go to the counter and report as a Lyft driver. So they're not using your car, they're using the dealership's car to be Lyft drivers. And I didn't think about it because when I was at the dealership waiting, I went for a walk and I started walking along the lot. And I seen this corner with nothing but lift cars on there. And that's what the people do. They go and they park at the dealership. And I understand why they don't use their cars. But they park and then they check in as lift drivers. And there's got to be at least 25 vehicles there that are lift vehicles that people check out. Now, I was under the assumption to be a Lyft driver or Uber driver. You had to use your own vehicle. Um, and then, um, so, and then I remembered one time when I did use Lyft, uh, Uber, the one and only time, the guy was telling me that he had a fleet of drivers for him. So I'm assuming he had extra cars and he was paying people to drive for him because why wouldn't people just drive for directly for Uber and Lyft and get a direct payment? But these people seem to be working for him. But then, then I thought the um, the uh, which I call it. Um, I was I was thinking, hey, why would the dealership have a fleet of uh, Uber cars? You know, why would they have like? A fleet of them so that I thought was very interesting why they would have a fleet of them a whole fleet of uber lift cars so that was like very interesting to me and so um, I don't know I, I would wonder why a dealership would get in the lift business or why these people would drive a lift car but yet not drive their own car so I don't know maybe I'm missing something but I thought that was pretty interesting and the only reason why I found out is because when I went to have the part put in my car they had um, they had not um, um, fixed my car so I had to go back again and get my car fixed so I thought that was like very interesting why I had uh, to do that. So I was waiting there. I didn't have to wait long, but then that's when I seen, heard all the people coming in. And there were a lot of people coming in to check in as Lyft drivers. And then even one guy, you could tell he was new because he asked he could, where, he could, uh, where he was supposed to park his own car. So, I mean, I would, that's what I was questioning because... Why would you drive someone for someone if you have your own car? You know? I don't know. So, I just thought that was, like, uh, interesting. Alright, I have to go now.